Bodie and Morgan Miller, these are the sounds of summer. <laughs> Two weeks ago, the tiniest members of the family, seven-month-old twins Asher and Axel, began ISR self-rescue instruction. Before they can even crawl, they're learning how to survive in water. It really teaches them awareness of what water is. By the end of an ISR session, they are able to uh, fall in the water, turn over and float, and they understand how to save themselves in any situation. We've chosen to focus on, you know, the ISR stuff because that empowers the child. They're more or less a pre-packaged safety mechanism going around. Anywhere they encounter water, they're gonna have the right skill set traveling with them. Big Brother Easton is back for advanced lessons with more confidence and more smiles than when he first started ISR a year ago. I have so many parents when the first couple days are like, how do you listen to him cry? I would give anything to hear me cry, anything. And you recognize that the crying is temporary and then they have this amazing skill. It can be a little jarring at first to see them struggle. I mean, how hard is that to watch? Obviously for us, it is very emotional because at times it can be very triggering. Um, it makes you think about Emmy um, and what her experience was like. Um, but to see him overcome that is so cool. And then you start to understand the cries at the beginning are just, I'm uncomfortable. Easton is 20 months old now and is swimming across the pool and he's laughing and he's playing and he's having fun. And it's such a huge sense of relief for us to know that he now has those skills. And at the same time, it's a little bit of a gut punch because he's the exact same age Emmy is or was. And to us, there's no reason why she should not have had these skills. And I am not willing to make that same mistake moving forward. The resemblance between Easton and his sister, Emmy, is undeniable. Yeah, we do kind of have that that one make and model Morgan likes saying too. So <laughs> it's it's good and bad. We you know it's a we constant see her reminder. In all of our kids. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Seeing Easton out and just knowing you know that her outcome could have been so different. Completely. Yeah. It's our job, my job, to keep them safe, and this is something that every child should know how to do. It's the number one thing that could kill your child if they're under the age of five. No one is exempt from this. And it, it can happen to anyone at any time. Morgan and Bodie believe kids can and should learn survival swim skills as early as six months. If your child is crawling, they should be floating. If your child is walking, they should be swimming. While the American Academy of Pediatrics now recommends swim lessons beginning at the age of one, at the time of Emmy's death, the recommendation was to start lessons at age four. A month before we lost Emmy, we had uh, um, Nash and swimming lessons. Emmy was 18 months old, and we told the instructor, please teach her, please teach her, please teach her. And he said, we can't. She's 18 months old. She can't learn anything right now. And a month later, she drowned. The skills that you learn to independently self-rescue are the most important things you can teach your child. Before they learned about ISR, the Millers say they thought they had put all the proper water safety precautions in place, but they believe the flotation device their little girl wore gave her a false sense of security that cost her her life. She always wore a little puddle jumper. She had a pink one. She'd had it on earlier that morning. It was jumping off the top of the wall into the water and would pop right back to the she surface. Loved it. And, you know, we just didn't know. We thought we were being good parents. We thought we were being responsible. And in the end, that was ultimately the cause of what led her to think she could just probably go right in the pool and, and float. Oh, Amy, are you swimming? Take your child in the water without one and show them what happens when they don't have anything on and show them that they sink and they don't float very easily. And then immediately call ISR and start your lessons. We should never be bringing our child into the water and expecting them to just have fun without teaching them the necessary skills to survive in that situation. It's irresponsible and I think we need to change our approach to water and that's the first step. 